Hi, I'm Dr. Adeline Tang from University of Malaysia, Sabah. I record this video clip to explain the second part of financial management and accounting under the course Fundamental of Entrepreneurial Acculturation APK in UMS. In this video clip, I'm going to explain two topics only, the financial resources and break-even point. The learning outcome of this video clip are to recognize the financial resources that help a to develop the business and to know the calculation of break even point. For this video clip, I will start with explaining the financial resources. A company, especially new company, might be facing problem of not enough cash or short of uh, cash in hand. So the company can decide to sell the assets to get enough cash to pay for the expenses. At the same time, the company might want to get a bank loan, a bank loan to borrow money from the bank to pay for the expenses. Besides that, government grant is another good option for the companies who want to apply for government grant might be easier to find than a bank loan. Next, to request the debtors to pay back the money to the company is another method to get extra cash for the company. Next, I will look at the break-even point. For the break-even point, it is calculated by the break-even analysis. Break-even analysis is calculated to identify the minimum sales amount in unit or revenue to cover the total cost. A break-even Analysis also is calculated to minimum to identify the minimum amount of products to sell to sell to avoid facing any loss. At this break even point, the company faced no loss but also enjoy no profit. So it is very important for the company to sell more than the break even point to enjoy profit. And the calculation of break even analysis can be in two methods. First, it can be calculated by using a graph, a diagram like this, or by using a formula. Let's look at this diagram. When the sales unit is low, the company is facing loss because the total cost is higher than the sales. When the sales unit is high, the company is enjoying profit because the sales is high. When the total cost is equal to sales, then the company is enjoying no profit or no loss. This is the point that we call break even point. So any company who want to enjoy profit, they have to sell more units than this break even point to enjoy the profit. Besides that also, we can calculate the break even point by this formula that is equals to fixed cost divided by price minus variable cost to find out the quantity of break even, the quantity of units sell that they have to sell to avoid facing any loss. Let's look at one example here. There is one company trying to sell 5,000 units of uh, titanium bottles. And then the total cost of these 5,000 units are 40,000 ringgit. Fixed costs are 25,000 ringgit. And total sales are 60,000 ringgit. So to calculate the break-even point, we need a few information. First, we need to know what are the variable costs. So to calculate the variable costs, we take total cost equal to fixed cost plus variable costs. And Variable cost equals to 15,000 from this calculation. After that, the information that I need is the price and the variable cost of producing one unit of bottle. To calculate that first, I calculate the price, taking total sales divided by the number of uh, bottles, then I will get 12 ringgit per bottle. This is the selling price. To find out the variable cost per unit, I take the variable cost divided by 5,000 units. So I will get 3 ringgit per bottle. This is my variable cost. 
And finally, I can calculate the break-even point. That is equal to fixed cost divided by price minus variable cost equal to 2,778 units. It means that this company can enjoy profit by selling more than this amount of units. For this video clip, I will stop here. Thank you for watching. For more information, please refer to Smart Tree UMS and Schoology account here. And please, after you watch the video clips on Unit 6 and Unit 7, please answer the attendance, uh, the recap questions to get your attendance marks. And also go to Go e commerce website to create your profile there so that you can have uh, you can record your sales record later thank you for watching